Hey, Dan Meyer here, and I am back once again with five more tips on things that I learned about business during my career. Today, we're going to focus these on five tips I learned about marketing myself. So if you're in a, a business where you are marketing yourself, if you are a speaker, author, coach, trainer, if you're a virtual assistant trying to grow your VA business and someday you want to have an agency, if you're doing digital marketing and if you're doing uh, any kind of SEO keywording, if you're trying to do websites, if you're trying to do video editing, whatever you're trying to do and you're trying to get more business, you can apply these tips to help you market yourself. Number one, of course, and this should be obvious, is you have to know your stuff. If you're going to try to sell yourself as a solution to some business's problems, you have to make sure you're very knowledgeable on your subject matter. So, for example, when it comes to the two things I focus most of my time on, analytics and virtual staffing, I am a subject matter expert in both of those areas. I worked as an analyst for Wells Fargo for 15 years, learned everything I could possibly learn about how businesses use data to make decisions, about how data is really the engine that fuels decision making in 21st century economies. I applied that and worked with hundreds of BPO call center companies in the Philippines. I started doing that across Southeast Asia. And basically my expertise in analytics um, is such that now I can look at a problem and figure out the best way to use data to solve it. That's my expertise there. In virtual staffing, it's really about knowing what a business needs to grow and finding the right talent to help it grow. The talent being things that are not on a physical location, but are overseas that are talent that you get through outsourcing. So when it comes to data analytics and when it comes to outsourcing with virtual staffing, um, I've built up 25 years of experience doing a combination of both. I know my stuff. You have to know your stuff too. What are the things that you know um, that people will pay you for? What do you have up here that you love to do, that you are good at, and that people will pay you to do? That's what you want to find out. When you do that, that's what you grow your business around. Number two, if you want to market yourself, you want to stay consistent. On social media, you should be consistently having things posted. You shouldn't be doing it yourself. You should have a virtual assistant do it for you. So that their primary job function is to uh, make your social media look uniform, look consistent, look organized. These things are, um, for most people, they're deal breakers. If you don't do them, people don't pay attention to your social media. In addition to social media, you want to be, you know, doing monthly newsletters. You want to have some kind of video content, like a YouTube channel or TikTok channel where you're producing content on a regular basis. You want to be consistent with your marketing. When you do that, people will start to expect it. And here's like one of the, the tricks to being successful with marketing. You make your audience want, they crave it. You want them to be in a situation when they're looking forward to it because they know that every Monday at two o'clock you drop a new video and they're going to be able to anticipate that. Even if they can't watch it Monday at two o'clock, they know it's there. And then that gives them a sense at some point they'll go back and watch it when they have time. But that that what it does in the mind, that trick it plays in people that they know something's there that they should watch. It makes them want to watch it versus if you never really know when you're going to drop something, your audience never really knows when you're serious. So think about that. Stay consistent. Number three, keep track of the competition. You want to make sure you know what your competitors are doing. When it comes to analytics, um, when I launched my first business in the Philippines, um, I didn't know what the competition was doing. When I launched my second one, which was a, a, a much more successful, is because I looked at the competition. I figured out what my pricing should be. So I'm not the most expensive and not the cheapest. I figured out where I wanted to take my expertise and fill that void that my competitors weren't doing. And I wanted to figure out what my competitors were doing but weren't doing well. What could I do better than them and offer those things? And I grew my business to be the most, um, the biggest name brand in analytics in the Philippines and across Southeast Asia because I looked at the competition and figured out how to stay ahead of them. When it comes to virtual staffing, same thing. I know my price point is right there in the middle. I know the services we offer are, are very competitive. Um, I look at our competition, how they do things. I look at um, how people, what they do well, what they don't do well, and I figure out how to keep evolving the VA business. Same for you. What are you doing to help you make sure that you stay ahead of the curve? 
What are you doing instead of your competition? You should know your top competitors. You should know their pricing and the services they offer and be able to talk about that. Because when somebody says, hey, I heard about this other service that does what you do, you should immediately go, yeah, so have I. The last thing you want to do is say, I don't know who they are. I've never heard of them. When you do that, it makes you look uninformed. It makes you look like you don't have a sense of how the world is in your niche. You don't know the landscape. That's deadly. So you stay ahead of your competition. You use your competition's information to make you better. You make sure that your audience, your target market, the people that you want to do business with, know that you know who your competition is and you know why you're better. You can be darn sure that McDonald's knows everything about Burger King and Carl Jr. knows everything about Burger King and McDonald's. And they're all doing this research constantly to make sure that they are offering competitive products at a competitive pricing and they're not being left behind. Super important. Number four, attract influencers. You want to surround yourself with people that will tell your story for you. So to do this, you have to be able to um, know what your story is and tell it in a way that people will want to retell it. So for example, when I talk about how I grew my virtual staffing business, I talk about how I took um, something that I already had, a virtual team, and I grew them to be able to offer it to small business owners, coaches, authors, trainers. And when I talk to my, my clients, my potential clients, when I'm in a room full of people or making a video with the audience of business owners, small business owners, entrepreneurs, I speak to them based on what I've experienced doing the same thing. And this attracts people that want to be able to tell my story. And when I work with people that are influencers, that have big followings of social media, that are influential, then it basically takes what I do and grows it, you know, by times 10. Because then they're sharing your stuff. They're telling your stories. For example, on Instagram, um, I had a goal of using Instagram primarily to attract more virtual assistants. And I basically started following and commenting on and liking and sharing the top influencers in virtual staffing on Instagram and getting them to be my influencers. So now they're talking to me and when they post on my stuff and I post on their stuff, their audience sees it. It adds to my, the, the people that follow what I do, it just kind of builds upon itself. And when you surround yourself with influencers, especially online on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, LinkedIn, wherever you're, you're doing most of your social media, you're going to see a benefit by attracting influencers, by complimenting them, by liking their stuff, by sharing their stuff, and then inviting them to reciprocate it. It'll definitely work to help you grow your business. So who are the influencers in your industry? Who are the influencers in your niche? Whatever it is that you're doing and whatever it is that you're looking to have a virtual assistant do for you, or if you're a virtual assistant, what is your niche? What, is, what are you doing? Are you a graphic designer? Are you a video editor? Are you doing different types of social media management? Know who the influencers are. Follow them on YouTube. Um, check out their videos. Stay abreast of what they're up to and make sure, again, not that they're competitors, but they're influencers. Know what they're doing and when appropriate, copy it or take it and make it your own. So number five, last thing, follow your insights. Data, data, data. I say this both because I used to be a data guy when I was doing the analytics and the training, um, when I worked for Wells Fargo, when I was doing all the things in the Philippines and Southeast Asia, um, and now with my virtual staffing, the same thing, I preach, know your data follow the data, let the data help you make decisions. So follow your insights, right? You have free tools. If you're using any social media platform, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, they all give you free information. They give you free insight tools that allow you to make good decisions. Keep doing what's working, stop doing what's not, and base that decision not on what you look at and you think of as cool, not on what people are saying about you in comments, but what the actual data says. So know your numbers, follow your insights. That's my five tips today about five things that I learned about business when it comes to marketing myself. I know my stuff, I stay consistent, I keep track of my competition, I attract influencers, and I know my numbers, I follow my insights. You need to do the same. If you do those five things, your marketing is going to be much, much more effective. And when you market yourself, you have to make sure that you're looking not just at what you do, but how people perceive what you do. And when you do that, you're going to be much more successful. If you're curious about how I do it, or you can drop a comment below, make sure you subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. Um, thank you if you have. Uh, feel free to reach out to us at sonicva.com, S-O-N-I-C-V-A.com, if you're interested in getting a virtual assistant to help you do what I've done, which is grow my businesses through virtual staffing. Thank you for your time. Now get out there and have an amazing day.